Hello everybody, you're here with Clarou Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today we're going to be doing a video that you guys been asking me for. So it's kind of going with me through it to discover. And this has to do with my favorites of Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. So this is going to be an interesting one because it's a discovery that I'll be doing with you here. Uh, hopefully I can edit it so there can be one and then the other and then the other. Uh, so let's, if you're interested in this list, in this journey, <laughs> keep on watching. So as you know, I have, uh, I love Lisa Eldridge and I have most of her collection of all her makeup. So I think I have over 30 of her lipsticks. I might be missing two. So let's check it out. Um, granted, and this is weird that I will start with this, I do not pull these uh, lipsticks on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'll explain why. I could, and maybe I will. But uh, I don't wanna talk, talk, talk before we start seeing swatches. So if you're aware, and you can go back to one of my other videos, I don't bore you with it, there's three different formulas. So there is the translucent, lucent, which are the most casual, more shine and more transparent. They are the velvet, which are very velvet-like. I'm wearing one of them, semi-matte. And then, um, no, the, the velvet are the mattes. Hold just for that. And then she has the intense uh, formula. I'll, I'll write down the names where it's semi-matte and it's very bold. Now, those are my favorites and they are one, two, three, four, five of them. So I will leave that towards the end. Those are my favorite, but they're very bold, very, when you wanna make a statement, when you really want your lips to show up. Uh, and that is why that's my favorite because that is my favorite look. Why? Because it's the easiest to do real quick and you still look, you know, put together. And if it's during the day, you look very like summer and bold and there and because they do well with my color. So you can check that video where I talk about all five and I actually put them on my lips. Uh, and if not, I'll just do a mention of my favorite at the end. But we're gonna begin with the True Velvets. This is um, the first time she came out with lipstick. The first time she, Lisa Eldridge, came up with any formula was with the True Velvet. And for those of you that don't know who Lisa Eldridge is, she's a makeup artist based in, in England, and she has done many, many very famous, uh, you know, kind of people. Well, she is in the middle of the core. Uh, she's also been a director creative of Lancome. I mean, she, she knows and she is, and she's part of the makeup world, creative makeup world. So she first came up with three velvets and that was all reds. So I have them here. I have all kind of coloring, but this were her three first true velvet lipsticks and they were a hit a hit and these three are for all tones now what's so special about her velvet formulas one in camera and video they look amazing and probably as a makeup artist that works with camera and film loves it that the color you see here is the color that will be on the lips so if they're creating a look the color of the actual person uh, lips probably doesn't matter that much so they get what they want right so uh this three colors that's what it will look on your lips and what do we have here this is jazz this is ribbon and this is morning morning with a more orange tone um ribbon with more neutral medium red and then jazz which is a little more burgundy a little more bolder night fall winter sort of color all right so those were the first three she came out and then i divided them on this side i have the ones that i feel have a little more orange to them more peach to them more so if you're in those sort of tones these are the ones that you will prefer and then on this side i have the more pinkish uh, tones, purple, you know, a little more cooler tones, perhaps. 
So let me list them in order. So we have the first three reds. I already told you your names. Jazz, these are all velvet. velvet. So jazz, ribbon, morning. And then we have this one is dragon, cinnabar, cinnabar, more like cinnamon, right? I mean, it's a little fall, a little more brown in it. Decade. This is uh, a little more purple brown. And then we have Muse. And then Affair. This is for many a big time favorite, perhaps a more neutral. They're still bold. And then Fawn. This is Fawn. Fawn is a little more neutral if you have medium tone is one of favorites these two are very favorite but you can tell there this one has a little more orange brown this one has a little more beige it's supposed to be pink but once i compare them to the other side you'll see that it's more beigey this one washes me out would i wear it i will have to add a lip liner it's not one of my favorites for sure and the reason I put this two on a vertical, they're on the other arm, but I just want you to see, and I'll tell you which ones they are, how it has a little more pink to them. Do you see between this and this, or this and this? They're similar in tone, perhaps, but this one has a lot more pink in it. So swatching it, you might say they're almost the same, but once you apply them to your skin, it will really um, make a difference, your undertone. Uh, which colors look better on you. So, uh, and I was trying to think, what is it that I put on my lips? I think the one I put is Velvet uh, Blush Lightly. And I'll, and I'll discuss uh, what I have on my other arm right this moment. I was trying to see, okay. So let's go through these colors. So the first color here is Carnival, very bright and pink. And I will do with you swatches here of the other formula, which are very bold pink. The reason being is because it will compare a little bit to that color. There's nothing else uh, similar to that, but that is Velvet Carnival. And then we have Velvet Blush, which it was supposed to be the most pinkish or neutral kind of lips. It ended up that it was very bold or too bold for most. So she ended up coming with Velvet Blush Lightly, which is supposed to be exactly the same color, but lightly. And so that's why it's called just like that, Blush Lightly, look at this. To me, they're very different um, colors. I love that she came with this Lightly part, uh, is what I'm wearing on my lips. So it's not that Lightly. I mean, we'll get to the loose and translucent, which those will be considered more lightly sort of natural look, but all velvet in the formula, they look like lipstick. I mean, look at that. And this is supposed to be a natural sort of look, right? That's this one. Uh, and again, that was the intention of this when she first came out of it, but everybody was like, you need a little lighter. And she came up with this. Uh, to me, this one is not very flat flattering on me maybe because it has that much more brown in it i mean i can pull it off but it's not my best this one works better for me because it has more of that pink and perhaps a little peachiness there but this one yeah the one i'm wearing all right then next to it is velvet myth and then is velvet midnight she started going more into the berries this is more on the reds, but it has pink. And then this is the Velvet Midnight. And then we have Velvet Beauty. And then Velvet Intrigue. Velvet Beauty and Velvet Intrigue. Now, Velvet Intrigue is almost barely there. I know in the swatches, you're like, oh, it has a lot of color. But once you apply it in your lips, and you can always go back to all my videos where I am, I do apply it on my lips. Or you can go to Instagram where I have a picture with each of them, or I should finish uploading a picture of each of them on my lips. But this is Intrigue. 
a little more in the peachy side. Maybe I should have put it here. And that's why uh, this is the vertical line because I wanted you to see this one is Intrigue and this one is Fawn. And if you notice, Intrigue has, I don't know if to call it peachy or pink, but this one is definitely more brown. That's why I put it on this colors, more fall, I feel. And I put Intrigue on the other line because I feel it has a little more of that summery, springy sort of color. I wouldn't say pink, but that's the whole thing about Lisa Eldridge. She mixes a lot of colors in her lipsticks. So it's supposed to, because of that reason, work with all kind of skin tones. Uh, like this color did not work for me. Does not work for me. I have to play with the lip liner. Uh, this one does work for me. It's not like, wow, it looks amazing, but it works. A lot of people have, have, have trouble with this intrigue sort of color, but okay. Uh, this other vertical line is the Velvet Blush Lily, the one I have on my lips, because I wanted you to see the difference um, between that and the Muse. So Muse, again, has a lot more brown, even though there you can't, there. I think in there it shows this one there how much more pink it has, even though they're about the same boldness of color. And you might say, yeah, they're very similar, but on the lips, they look very different because of that pinkish thing. All right, so we've been through all the velvet colors. I don't think I'm missing any. Um, I just wanted to real quick here with you because of this carnival, and I do have a video with the pinks, all pinks, but I wanted just to compare it here, Skycraper Rose. This is the other formula. Um, so Skycraper Rose is darker, much darker, and it has some shine. You see the semi-matte? This is very matte. You see a little bit of the shine and the darkness? So that definitely makes a difference on the lips. And then the last one I'm gonna to do here is the Rainbow Spill uh, because it has a lot of pink as well. Rainbow Spill is the same formula, this too. So it has semi-matte, um, but that one is fluorescent. It has a little bit of strawberry sorbet or something. You see how pink, darker, and then that one is, this one is one of my favorite, not so much because of how it looks perhaps on my skin, but because the uniqueness of the color. And because of the formula of Lisa that it really covers on top of your lip color. So it, it shows like the color is on the lips, on the lipstick. So seriously, when I go out and everything is, is, I mean, if somebody knows about makeup, they'll be like, what color is that? That looks amazing. Again, if you're looking just to see what complements your skin color, that might complement or might not. The reason I love them so much is because the colors just call for uniqueness. They're so interesting. And yes, and you have to work at it. So they complement your skin, right? Uh, one of the big favorites was the Velvet Morning because of that orange, very bright. It really makes your uh, teeth whiter and it's just very lovely. And of course, the neutral ribbon, why? Right? Because, you know, neutral red. Uh, do I wear them that much? I think from the three, Velvet Morning is the one that I wear the most or have worn the most. Uh, when it comes to a neutral red, I'm very tempted to get other brands of reds. So that's something. And this fall colors, I yet to really work with them. They complement me, but I think this ones will complement a different skin color the most, or brown hair, or more into the falls. My coloring is very spring, uh, summer, or winter. So colors from fall are my least <laughs> complimentary uh, but i love how these browns look on, on more fall coloring right i mean even some um golden tints to your skin or your hair and and they complement now decade i think this if you have a deeper skin that would look amazing because it has a little bit of that violet to me is a little too brown 
I kind of go more for this berry one. This one is uh, Midnight, Velvet Midnight. So you see what I'm talking about, right? The difference, this one being more brown, this one being more berry. So those are the things that end up making a huge difference on your skin. And so again, I will tend more for the pinkish for myself, just because I think they really uh, bring light to my face. But the trendiest thing is browns um, and probably deeper skin colors. And so these are just amazing. That's why I divided them, all right? Now, I probably will do the loosened colors in a different video, so it just doesn't become too long. Uh, but I just wanna do some mentioning, like love of my light. Love of my light, and this is not the loosened formula. I'll put it here. This one, and I put it on the pinkier side. Uh, Love of My Light is one that I have pulled out often. I really like it for that really pinkish sort of color. So would I say this is one of my favorite? Yes, Love of My Light, for sure, one of my favorites. Um, one that was throughout very favorite one was this dance card. I'll put it right next to it because it has peachy tone so you see rosy peachy so this too can take you through all summer and I actually think it took me through most of last summer so you have the two shades the pinkish and the peachy they're very light fun uh, flirtatious you can say um, another one that they compare a lot with dance guard is this kitchen mischief uh, kitchen <laughs> kitten mischief and I think those two were uh, the ones that Lisa Eldridge herself said she wore the most. There you go. So this one is a little more color to it, a little more mixture of things. So you see the peachy light, the pinky light, and then this is sort of a, a, a mixture, but it has a little more brown. Um, so Denskar and Kitten Mischief are very, very close. It all depends. I think if I really want the peachy to, to show up, I will go for Denskar and the Kitten Mischief. I really wouldn't pay a lot of attention, you know, like one or the other. Um, another one that, oh, I forgot to, to do Velvet Petal on all the velvet colors. Oof. Excuse me for that. I need to put this somewhere here. And I will put it right here on horizontal as well because it's one of those velvet. That is petal. So I put it next to uh, velvet beauty. So this is petal and this is velvet beauty. Hmm. So it seems that velvet petal has more brown in it. I always thought Velvet Petal might have more pink, but I think it doesn't. It has, this one has more raspberry. The, um, the Velvet Beauty, and this one has more brown, the Velvet Petal. Very interesting. I would have thought Velvet Petal had more pink. So, you know, my brain uh, doesn't work the most sharpest. And I apologize for that, but at least I put it there. I think that's all the velvets I have. I'm glad I put it there. Okay. Now, another, so I gave you this three. Another one that has been a big of the Lucent favorites um, is this Atomic Cherry. And the reason is it because it's sort of light and it's a little red orange. You see that? So it's more like the Velvet Morning, but it has that. But this is another very, very original color, and it gives you that reddish sort of lip, very flirtatious as well. So I kind of put it on this category of this three. Lucent, I hope I'm not confusing you. So there it is, a little reddish. You see that a little more brown, the kitten sheath a little more peachy, a little more pinky. This four, I think, are the neutral 
you get all the little shifts. You don't need all four, of course. Uh, but I think if you're reaching for just a little color, not lipstick like I'm wearing velvet, but a little something something, uh, those are the four kind of shades to choose from. Uh, and having said that, um, I'm trying to look here. Then of course you have some loosens that have a little more brown in them, like Penterly. So Penterly is apparently another very big time favorite, has a little more brown red, and I'll put it uh, next to, over here, next to Atomic Cherry. You see what I mean? A lot more brown in it. Um, so I'll put it here, let's see where I can do right here you see how it has a little more that would almost could go brown terracotta uh panterly so this could be another favorite for some of you he has not been my favorite even though i do like that terracotta brown but it hasn't been my favorite because it's too brown it will go again like this sort of thing and I need, I need a little more pink or berry. So you were asking me for all these um, favorites, right? Uh, so she came up with Palazzo, which is the other sort of, so I don't wanna get confused. So we have Atomic, Atomic Cherry. I just did Painterly and I'm gonna do this um, Palazzo, because I want you to see the difference in the reds. So Palazzo has a little more fall, a little more brownish and less flirtatious than Atomic Cherry, but is there going into the reds, okay? Um, but I will end because I still have several that I haven't shown you and they are the new colors that just came out, such as Wonder Wheel. I wear most of the video uh, that I made on the new colors that just came out. So you can check that out. Those are a little more watermelon, more, I, I do like the Wonder Wheel. It's one of my favorites of the new colors. Um, she has the new Genesis Qua, which is one of supposed to be favorites. It's more peachy tone. So I think I would prefer probably more um, this one, uh, which was Dense Card, uh, than the new color let me just put it right next to it you see that i don't know if you can see but that color let me put it on my hand so that is a new shade compared to dance guard this is dance guard and this is the new shade. So dense car, that's why I call it a little more flirtatious, a little more translucent, just a little tiny color in your lips. And, and you see that uh, the new color it has a lot more boldness to it, perhaps a little more color because this four that I mentioned here, they're so light and translucent. Probably she wanted to come with some formulas that had a little bit more of color. So not as translucent. Maybe that's why she did this. Maybe that's why they were requested. These are the new colors. Nevertheless, um, I like both. I, I, I like both. Sometimes I just feel like being very flirtatious and sometimes I feel like a little more and not as much as this. Um, I'm gonna finish with, I didn't put Spirit Away. Okay, two more. So this is Spirit Away. This one is more under this colors that I show you over here, the Atomic Cherry, the, there it is, the Penterly, you see this? So this four bring more of that reddish tone, um, not so peachy, not so light, not so pinky, you know, very neutral, but this one has a little more brown. So let's do straight away in here and Panterly, because I think those two are very, very close. So this is Panterly and this is Spirit Away. 
painterly, more brown, spray it away, a little more red. This, a little more pink, you see that? A little bit. From this two, I go back and forth. Neither satisfied me completely. Neither, I feel like, yeah, that's the color. So, because it has more brown, if you are more into the peachy brown sort of colors, this two might be better for you. For me, the Atomic Cherry, uh, you know, and the other ones that I mentioned, we have more pink are, again, if it's up to me, these colors complement me a lot more than these colors. But I wanted to make the distinction because if this like fall colors look better on you, then Spirit Away, Pinterly will be more up your alley, most likely. Now I want to wrap it up. I want to wrap it up because I don't want to miss mentioning two that I love that are brand new. And both of them are the Meet in Berlin, which is brown. I love this one. And you know, I just tried the Dior 200 and things like that. That's this one. It doesn't compare. I love this brown, especially with the new trends that are very <laughs> terracotta, things like that. But also what I feel is coming a lot of cool tone, which I'm wearing cool tone uh, contour and very darker sort of plain lipstick. I think this is right on it. And if you don't want to be so there, the other one that was the last one for me to order. I actually placed an order after I have made my order to order it. And now I love it. I'm so happy I did get it, which is the Night Thoughts. And if you have deeper skin than me, I think this too. Meet me in Berlin. Much more brown, more watch out with that trend that I tell you I keep thinking is coming. And then this one, which is Night, um, night Thoughts, very darker. It reminds me a lot of Decade. Let me put this here. You see that? Maybe over here, so you see the difference. See? Night Thoughts, Decade. I think they are very close, but again, this one is Velvet Formula and this is the Lucent. So on the lips, it will make a big difference because the Lucent shows your lip color. Uh, it looks a little more natural, more shine to it. The Decade is just, you get that color, which is uh, a little more Gothic or more darker. But in the swatch, this is getting there. So I have really loved that color. I'm trying to see if it compares to this other one, the Myth. No, it has a lot more brown. This one has a lot more purple berry. This one um, is more brown. So it goes more with Decade. So this for deep skin girls. All right, so I think I talked about all of them. The only one I haven't mentioned is Rosy Shell. I'll just put it right here next to Love of My Life. So cooler tone. Um, this is the only one that I'm like, eh, I don't know what to do with it. Probably put it with a, a lip liner uh, more towards this and then put the shine or very light colors. Probably would be the least used because I would much prefer Love of My Life or any of these other ones that I mentioned. But now I think I I finished. So there you have. Uh, I don't know if this give you <laughs> what you needed. I think I spoke a little bit of how I, at least I divided in my mind and which colors will complement you more. Um, and uh, I might do a very short video on my favorite five. Maybe that will satisfy more the answer that you guys were looking for. But even for myself, I had to do this so I can organize them in my head to get to the top five, right? So thank you very much for watching. I hope that as always, uh, getting to organize all these lipsticks was helpful to organize in your head too, because there's so many colors. Uh, she was very clever in coming uh, bringing them to market little by little. So then, at least for me, I ended up buying them all instead of choosing what I would get, right? <laughs> that work. <laughs>
So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell, thumbs up, uh, and I will see you next time. Bye. Let me know which ones you end up getting. Thank you. Bye.